I'm Joel Rosenthal, President of the Carnegie Council. For almost 100 years, the Council has been the voice for ethics in international affairs. This month, please give to our annual fund drive. Thanks for your support. Had uh, John Kennedy lived and remained in office, do you think he would have had the political courage to uh, pull the United States out of Vietnam before the buildup? Yes. I, I think it's a wonderful question. I address it at the end of my book. I don't think we ever would have done <clears throat> in Vietnam what Johnson did. Kennedy was very, very skeptical about these uh, military actions. Uh, he saw the Navy chiefs during World War II, and he would write letters home about the misjudgments and miscalculations he felt they were making. Uh, the Bay of Pigs stung him terribly, and what it taught him was not to take at face value what these advisors were telling him, including his military advisors. He uh, despised Curtis LeMay, and of course, uh, uh, during the Cuban Missile Crisis, he recorded all those XCOM meetings. And we have those conversations in which Kennedy went out of the room and the military were furious at him that they would not that he would not commit himself to invading, bombing Cuba, tried diplomacy first, and we're so fortunate that he was there because we could have ended up, as we know now, in a nuclear exchange with the Soviets. Vietnam, he urged the removal of, uh, directed Bob McNamara to take 1,000 troops out of Vietnam, advisors out of Vietnam by the end of 63. He was profoundly skeptical about being able to win there. I think he would have won re-election in 64. He said to one of his aides, if Barry Goldwater is our opponent, which he probably would have been, uh, Kenny said we're going to get to bed much earlier on election night than we did in 1960. <laughs> See, he was convinced that he would beat him decisively, and he would have. And I think then he would have found a way to at least, uh, he never would have escalated, I think, the way Johnson did with those troops. He saw it as a trap. He told Arthur Schlesinger that. Arthur had talked to me about that, told me about how uh, skeptical he was. Now, you know, we'll never know exactly what he would have done. Uh, and uh, uh, you can write into history anything you want when it's, you know, this sort of counterfactual history. But uh, uh, I, I, I think he, uh, I would like to think he, he never would have done that. But we did it, and uh, we paid a terrible price for it and especially the families who lost loved ones.